A familiar sound filling the air at an old one-room schoolhouse. Isn't that a nice? Uh, the teacher came, would always stand at the door there and ring the bell. 97-year-old Geraldine Prather taught for four years at this rural schoolhouse near Yarrow. And some of them that you didn't know for sure if they were learning or not. You know, they were just, just sat there so silently. You wondered if they were learning, but when you kind of check on them, they knew as much as you did, so, you know. And so it was, it was things like that. And 98-year-old Clara Strait still remembers her first day of school in the one-room building. August 28, 1924, on my fifth birthday, and uh, I had come all prepared because I had learned to read. Classes no longer in session in one-room schoolhouses across Adair County, like this one here in Yarrow. But the memories of students who were taught here still live on, especially thanks to a brand new book that's just been published. We did the second book because after we completed the first book, we had so many pictures and memories left that we had collected from the students and teachers who taught in the rural schools in Adair County that we decided we really didn't want these to go to waste. Beautiful pictures and the memories just started coming. After the first book was written, people said, oh, we remember that and we have those pictures. The memories coming back for Prather and Strait when they saw what was on the pages. That was me there, that was the, the older children. This picture right here, well, that's there me. you are, that's yeah. you. Back, yeah. That was in 1959-60. Showing a very different time. They came from all over in the hills. The hills were just full of people in those days and there were little trails everywhere. You, Nobody cared if you walked past their place. There were kids that walked right under our kitchen window every morning. We knew it was time to go to school. But some things still stay the same. I made a rule that they had to sit down for at least 10 minutes because they wouldn't eat their lunch. They'd just go play. 